Hello Gemini, you are with Alison and I am healing Dove Tarot. Today we're going to have a look at the love energy surrounding you from the 16th of May to the 1st of June. Um, I've decided to change up the love reading so I'm doing them now every fortnight. Um, yay, I hear some of you say, because um, I've been getting a lot of personal readings asking about love and I feel like once a month just isn't enough at the moment. So fortnightly readings, um, focusing on the love energies for Gemini. Um, before I get started, I just did want to say a little tidbit about love, attraction and gratitude. Um, something that's come up, uh, I think, a lot in a lot of the healings and readings that I've been doing is that um, the love versus fear paradigm, right? So even when someone has wronged you, whether that be a betrayal or um, hurt you in some way, large or small, or perhaps it could just be that they've made a judgment call on you without really knowing all the facts. The advice or the invitation here is to thank them. Now, I know that seems counterintuitive, and I'm certainly not advocating that um, if someone has hurt you, that you don't acknowledge that or um, that you shouldn't set boundaries for yourself. It's quite the opposite. But what I am saying is if you can meet fear with love, then automatically what that does for you and your energy and your field and your psyche and your space is it repels the negative energy and it brings more love back to you, okay? If you take on someone else's negativity, be that judgment or how they've hurt you or betrayed you, what that does is it continually perpetuates and feeds that negativity and starts off another cycle and another spiral, which then, of course, attracts more negativity. So... As I said, the invitation is when you can get to a place of acceptance with a level head and knowing that the reason why people do harm or do wrong is not intrinsically that they're bad or that they have ill intentions. It's that they're acting out of a place of fear. Okay, their shadow side's taking over because fear is a much more comfortable place than that is of love and trust and joy. And it's easy, and I can speak of this from my own personal experience, when someone is hurting you and coming from a place of mistrust and of betrayal to get pulled down into that energy, okay? But as soon as you go, I know I'm going to create the boundary, I'm going to release that back to you, I know that's all on your side, and you do so with love, uh, and you thank them for the lesson, then you invite in more love, Okay? All right, Taurus, now let's have a look at the energy surrounding you for love from the 16th of May to the 1st of June. I keep going to say June for some reason. Thank goodness. Please show me what are the energies for the sign of Gemini from the 16th of May to the 1st of June. Please show me what do my lovely Geminis need to know. You've popped out at lovely, by the way. Please show me what does the sign of Gemini need to know from the 16th of May to the 1st of June. Hmm. Can I have some more clarity please? Some more insight please show me. Too many cards. Thank you, universe. Thank you, angels. A few more cards for the sign of Gemini. Yep. I'm going to take this one as it's the one that actually came out. Yeah, I thought so. Gemini, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, some really beautiful energy for you here, Gemini, in love, uh, singles and couples, and those that are estranged, good stuff, okay? At the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles speaks to me of soulmates or love from past life, okay? Um, it is this really gorgeous kind of innocent energy about give and take, reciprocity, um, 
balancing of the scales and you can even see in this illustration that it shows a little hummingbird or a bird in the tree and it's got scales between its beak and it's trying to balance it out for the, the animal that's in need or wants feed. The Six of Pentacles when it talks about love really speaks to that innocent love that that purity that you feel with another person it is soulmate love okay it is something that you feel very much pulled to um and i say that because on the board you have the lovers here and the lovers is another confirmation of that kind of soulmate um connection now i feel like for some of you you have you've been in a break or you've been in separation or something you've had some kind of turmoil and i say that because you have the tower okay so um people freak out when they see the tower and rightly so it's a pretty scary image it's literally like a um an earthquake happening it's a the foundation of a building not being strong and when it pertains to love it talks about the foundation of a relationship no longer being stable once you thought was once um concrete is no more now i like to see the positive in this card because with great challenge and change comes, you know, a new. And what I love about this reading for you is it's flanked. It's, it's got the fool at the bottom. Now, these are two major arcana cards, yeah? So you've got three of them in your spread, but these are divinely guided messages. So they're things that even if you wanted to, you couldn't have avoided it. So for those of you that are in separation or you have walked away from someone or you've even maybe broken up in the past. I don't see the breakup actually here. Something where maybe someone moved out of the home and they've been living somewhere else. That's what the tower shows to me too. It might not necessarily mean that you've actually completely gone for a divorce or completely broken up, but someone's moved out of the space. Um, and it needed to happen, okay? The energy needed to happen so that you could see clearly um, so you could have some space and both have some space because it's not, there's not denying that there's love here and it's this real, um, pool. Okay. This spiritual soulmate pool. That's why you keep kind of coming back to each other. And for some of you, this has been like yo-yo going on for a little while. Um, but this tower moment needed to happen so you could see clearly. And I feel like, um, they're, they're trying to come back and give you an offer of something concrete now. Okay. The page of pentacles speaks of an offer, something stable, something um, concrete, something speaking of a home or a marriage or a, a, a resurrection of something that once was. And the reason why I say a marriage is because you have the four of wands underneath and the four of wands is my, my um, stability card, right? It speaks of like the four pillars when you're talking about building a house and then we're coming together to have the foundation. Um, the foundation that normally supports the tower or, or whatever it is that you're building now it could simply mean that you've gone through this energy you feel the pull back to this person you could have children with this person as well um, some of you absolutely not um, you could an earth sign child um, there's children involved for some of you and you feel like a pull back to them you feel like they're your soulmate um, and they're wanting to come in and go let's start again Let's rebuild what we had before, but better. Okay. And Gemini, I see you wanting to take that leap of faith with this person and rebuild. It's like you've had the time, you've had the moment, you, you've gotten the clarity that you needed from whatever this separation was, and now you're ready to move forward. For those of you that are in happy relationships and you haven't been in separation, something's coming that's going to shake it up. In this two-week period most likely at the end of this weekend that's coming something's going to happen something's going to come to light and it's going to rock the core it's going to rock the foundation of your of your marriage and your relationship and it's going to cause you to to need to make a decision the lovers can represent a, a head over a heart decision right so needing to make something logical and grounded decision and you're willing to take that leap of faith very quickly sorry but it's coming 
just the messenger. For others of you, as, as I said, this has already happened and you're actually looking at resurrection. Yeah. And for those of you where you're actually in happy relationships, the tower could speak of needing to move house. You might be talking about moving in together or buying a property um, and solidifying your relationship, taking a leap of faith and actually going, yeah, let's do it. Let's go buy that property. Um, let's go uh, make that commitment to each other. Holy crap, it's scary, but let's do it. Some of you, you could be traveling to meet family. Um, yeah, and you're making that further offer of commitment by meeting each other's family. <laughs> and, and for some of you, meeting the, the in-laws or the family makes you <laughs> question. It's like, oh, what am I getting myself in for? <laughs> And you're like, do I really want to be <laughs> marrying into this family? Some of you are thinking about marriage down the track. Um, for those of you that have like only been together for a short while, you're already thinking about that. And look, it's beautiful because this connection is a soulmate connection. It is something from past lifetimes. It's really innocent. It's pure. It's not uh, a twin flame um, a connection. It's not... Um, uh, something fleeting it's it's a soulmate love it's it's not a karmic lesson it's a soulmate love and soulmate love um is something you can build a lifetime with someone who respects you and treats you well it's totally different vibration to that of twin flames and other kind of energies that are on a spiritual level it's a whole different kind of depth of, of connection but um yeah whichever way it plays out for you uh gemini i just want you to know that it's going to be a really interesting couple of weeks um, I'm excited to see how it plays out again. And look, if this resonates with you in whichever way, I've given three, some, three different scenarios here and how the cards could fall. Um, someone who's already split from their partner and they're looking at actually building that foundation again. Maybe they're moving back in and you're going to take that leap of faith and try and reconnect because you do have a child. That's one scenario. Another scenario is that, um, uh, something happens to shake up your foundation with someone you've been married with for a long time and you're actually thinking about leaving and you're needing to make that choice and uh, for others of you you're traveling or you're moving or, or you're um thinking about moving in together and you're changing changing your residence and you're looking at making that offer of love to each other in, in a concrete form in a materialistic form okay so there's very three different scenarios there I'm curious to see what resonates with most because I'm, I'm picking up really strongly on two of the energies. So please write in the comments below and let me know if this resonates with you and in what way, because um, I want to get some clarity about what I'm seeing and what I'm, I'm reading here. But let's draw for you an additional guidance card, Gemini. It's only a couple of weeks and I'll be back with you again. So I'm really excited to see how this plays out for you, especially for those that are meeting the in-laws and you're like, oh, what am I getting in for? <laughs> Uh, remember, you don't have to love the family. You have to get along with them, but you don't have to love them, all right? Um, thank you, universe. Please show me one additional guidance message for Gemini. There it is. <laughs> Four of Wands again. Look at this. Joy and stability. Beautiful. Really nice card. Um, I love the meaning of this too. Let me find it for you so I can read it to you verbatim. Um, joy and stability, happiness, celebration, sharing, and renewal. What do I say about people coming back together? Yeah. And it says like a beautiful summer day, this card brings joyful energy. Take a break or a step back just for now from any concerns you may have around matters of the heart. Spend some time in happy pursuits. Find reasons to celebrate with others. Welcome this warm, sunny energy into your life. Oh. Remember the law of attraction and, vi and high rate of vibration will attract all that you desire. That's what I was saying at the beginning, remember? When you meet fear, so anyone who's wronged you or hurt you with love, then you're going to attract love back. Rejuvenate your relationships by renewing yourself. And it says, this card also speaks of a time of sharing conversation. Lovingly open your heart and mind to people. 
Share your thoughts and above all, be a good listener. Feel the ebb and flow of energy as you communicate with others. You'll find that this brings increased stability and warmth to your relationships, helping you attract like-minded people into your life. Oh, Gemini, beautiful. Um, I hope you found this reading helpful. If you did, please like, share and subscribe and I'll be back with you um, to do your new moon readings very soon. Thanks and take care.